Hello friends, I am Dr. Minakshi and in this video we will be talking about the strategies how to minimize the impact of negative marking on your score in the NEET PG exam. So undoubtedly we all know NEET PG exam is one of the toughest exams of the medical career and you know to crack it you not only need uh, of course an in-depth knowledge having solid concepts but also having the cool of your mind having the coolest possible minds having the ability to apply the knowledge that you have, efficient time management skills and, you know, developing a strategy so that you can maximize your score and, you know, really reach that cutoff and get the dream branch that you've been, you know, uh, working hard for, right? So first and foremost is having an in-depth knowledge and avoiding wrong answers. So, of course, there's no shortcut to that and all of us have go through that hard work of you know, not only a year, at least a year rather, I would say years together of preparation, building your concepts, building your knowledge base so that of course, the wrong answers that you will have or you will, you know, the questions that you will answer wrongly in the exams will be kept to the bare minimum. So that is the first and foremost, right? The next point, warm up your brain. So when you're giving your NEET PG exam or any other mock test, what you should ideally do is, you know, answer the easier questions first, the topics that are easy for you, answer them quickly and answer them first. So it, you know, kind of warms up your brain for the more tougher questions, which you can attempt in the next go, right? Point number three, read the question twice, okay? So in order to not miss the very crucial words like except or none of the, uh, you know, none of the following or all of the following are answers except, so, in order to not miss these very, very crucial points, which can be a game changer, so read your question twice and very carefully. So, not only the question, but you have to read all the options before answering the question. Even if you know the topic very, very well, don't jump to answer the question unless you have read all the options at least once, okay? So, reading all the options is important because sometimes what happens? The first option that you read is the correct answer you feel. But the second option you read, that is also correct. Third you read, that is also correct. And the fourth one is all of the above, which should have been the best answer to this question in that scenario. And if you have not read through all, the, all of those options, then you will obviously miss the correct answer, right? So very, very important to read the, all the options before answering the question, okay? Now, very important is to use the elimination guesswork strategy. So when you have read a topic, you have some idea about that topic and you are able to eliminate some of the options. Try eliminating the options one by one. And if you have left with only two of the choices out of which you have to decide, there is a 50% chance that you are going to be correct. Okay. And if you are able to eliminate three options, then of course your chances of me having the correct answer is almost 100%. So use that elimination guesswork wherever you are not very sure about the answer, but yes, you have read the topic and you have some idea around it. Okay. The next strategy is divide your time wisely. So we all know you get around three and a half hours for 200 odd questions in your exams. So uh, an, uh, an approach that you can try using is the first 150 minutes, use them for the easier questions and try to take not more than 30 seconds per question. Okay. The next 50 minutes reserve for the more difficult questions and you can devote at least one minute or around one minute per question. And then last 10 minutes you can devote for revision where you can check if you have, you know, answered any of the questions by mistake you've marked the, uh, you know, the other option you were thinking of marking an option, you marked something else or, you know, some of the questions which you've really thought of that you might have to, you know, last minute review once again. So the last 10 minutes can be kept for them. Okay. Take calculated risks. So if you have, you know, some idea about a topic and your gut feeling tells you that this is the answer. So trust your instincts. You have, you know, really worked hard for years for this exam. And, you know, you have some idea about what is correct, what not. So if your gut feeling is really for an answer and if you truly feel that, yes, this should probably be the right answer, go for it rather than not attempting the question. Because every question that you attempt gives you plus four. And every question that you have attempted wrong will just give you minus one, okay? But that scope of getting a plus four, if you really, you know, feel that your gut feeling is telling you that is the answer, then please go for it. So friends, trust in your abilities, take calculated risk, use elimination guesswork, effectively manage your time, okay? And, you know, try to not make those last minute hasty changes, trust your instincts, and try to, you know, attempt as many questions as possible. Of course, the questions for which you have some background knowledge, for which you can use elimination guesswork, 
and you have you know some knowledge around it so i'm sure you will be able to make the best of your knowledge and get your best possible score in the upcoming neat pg try to follow these strategies do mention in the comment box below the strategies that you followed in your mock exams and you will follow in your neat pg so you know if you got some insight from this video about how to minimize the impact of negative marking on your score do like this video and you know post your comments below right so all the very best let's crack it and i'm sure you will subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from prep ladder